Why quit and reload? Easy. It resets the enemies, so that way you can get more license points along the way to your next destination. What is that next destination? It's the Wester Sand. Unfortunately, there's a catch. Oh no, not a catch. You cannot enter Rab and Aster. Otherwise, you lose both your and friend, and you're definitely gonna need them. Go around bashing the enemies for those quick license points and extra gill that you still need. That was a nice split. You might be wondering, what about Neckbet? You can handle Neckbet, and it looks like it's even present. Ain't that nice? Zero? What's that all about? That's because these things don't have much in, enough in the way of attack power. No bother stealing from Nick that though. Uh, okay, so how did I just heal it? That's because it absorbs fire. Just switch back to the onion arrows before bothering to attack it. 37, that's it. Even with that high end armor, that thing is really powerful. And it's not really worth much. Get the fiery arrows back and continue on. Here's the entrance to Giza Plains. Just remember, south, east, and then a lot south. Not west, east. Dark mode. Head off into this zone. Remember this, where we went into the Western Sand for the first time? If you did not use the Dusty method. Well, this is where you need to be. This is also where Jin was. After saving your game, head off farther to the west. near his extra license points and gill. All things are worth quite a bit. Speaking of which... Now you remember what Jin said about these and to stay away from them, right? You can handle them. Thanks to pseudo running and these really high-powered weapons. Yeah, you can definitely handle them. <laughs> okay, that was funny. It's trying to get over there, but it just can't because it's got others in the way. But as you can tell, yeah, they are pretty powerful, but yeah, you can easily handle them. Quality hide cell for a ton of gear. And guess how much damage you can do to these, just so you know. Yeah. Whoa! That was a ton. How come it's up so high compared to what you were doing? That's easy. They are very weak against fire. In other words, double damage. But over here is the Wester Sand, and that's where you need to go. You don't worry too much about what weather you get, however. Sandstorm? Not a problem. Of course, uh, if you don't get a blue sky, your accuracy is going to suffer a bit. But it shouldn't be a problem. Huh, blue sky, what do you know? I can actually take these out in one hit. Evasion on the side. As you can tell, we just got sighted by it to draw it over. So, where do you go to get this winged helm that you're after? It's quite a ways away at the moment. But if you're at all familiar with the 70 hour method, you should be very familiar with this particular area. Time wasting protect. Even with protect, one hit, it's history. Yeah. Do not attack Dive Talon, you do not stand a chance. But do you remember this cave that I told you to avoid, right? Well, this time, go into it. 
This is Zertanen Caverns, and get ready for Start X, along with some other preparations. And do note, the winged helm is a 1% drop. 1%? Oh no, doesn't that mean a 4 hour run at this? Start X on that, by the way. No, it does not. I would suggest putting one character into reserve just in case something goes wrong. Not a necessity, however. Uh, equip him. Oh, great, I gotta license it. I need to give him the bow that Fran has. But that license is quick to get to. That's right here. And while you're at it, you might as well give him some extra boosts. Not the gambit slot. That's junk. It's not that either. But this. Although, the headsman will actually help. Extra HP will help, too. And if you can, get this as well. Because the next swiftness is a ways away. Of course, this one's got it, but make this one go unarmed as a... I'll explain why a little bit. But you need as much attack power as you can. And another thing, go to wait mode. Next, get rid of this guest. Why? He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna be able to do a thing to what you're about to face. And you might be wondering, the 1%, what is that all about? Well, fortunately, there's good news. You can chain slime. And that's what enemy has it. And I love using status effects magics. Miss, good. But they also use a fair amount of physical attacks, too. There's plenty of chests around here as well. 146, that's not bad. Warning, there are traps here. Straight ahead, right there, is where one trap is. Critical for 258. That's because these things have a very high defense. But ignore the loot, so that way you can get your chain to level up more quickly. Warning, straight ahead is yet another trap. Sleep? Uh oh, now what? That's where Fran comes in. Going unarmed means zero damage. Not being targeted. I can fix that. There's two other slimes present. There's one right here that sometimes does not appear thanks to the six enemy limit. you and sleep all of a sudden. Sometimes there's a chest there that can, can contain a barbet, but that's not what you want or you're after. It's a lot of extra gill though. And if you can, try to make your character with the uh, traveler's vestment take all the damage. And good, divide is actually a very good thing. And after you're done, heal everyone. And ignore the frogs, the spear tongues. And as a tip to remembering where the traps are, that's easy. Big is good, it's wide open, and thus it's safe. Small is confined, it's a trap. Do not go to the small. Based on those little odd alcoves, basically. That's the trick to remembering them. But now, you've gotten rid of all the slimes, so now what? You need to get two zones away to reset the enemies. Seems like I got cloudy weather. Not a sandstorm. You can tell by the wind at the start just before the 
music starts. But this is where you need to head. You don't need to do anything here, you just simply get back. You just need to be two zones away to reset the enemies. It's a very common trick to chaining enemies in this game. Intermittent zone or a zone with a save crystal that is not a town, easy chaining on almost anything. I've actually had, I think, a 30 chain on Gnoma Antite, or Noma Antite as it should be pronounced. I just like saying Gnoma because it's funny. Blind. Blind now will take care of that. Speaking of which, whenever it uses arrow, keep your distance. Because that's an area of effects spell. Or at least keep them keep your members separated. Small little alcove. Don't go there. Yeah, 157. Whoa. Try to finish the enemy off if you can. If I had very useful. Chain level. In that case, get the loot. But only immediately upon the chain leveling up. Got a sandstorm this time, which presents a different kind of notice. Or a different kind of remark that I need to cover. See this thing? No man tight? Do not use magic near it. If you do, it'll start attacking with magics of its own, and they are frightfully powerful. If you're willing to risk it, steal with your other party members. <laughs> Blizzaga. That is going to do 1300 damage, but as long as you can zone out quickly enough, you're fine. Hmm, okay, so where'd it go? That's one of the pluses about those end tights. Zone change zones, and you never know where it's going to be next. And in this case, hey, I just stole something from it, and. Uh, okay, nothing happened. Of course, I might ready fear go and take a lot of your MP away, but MP damage, not a problem with that. Just continue on, ignoring those frogs that love using Angel Song and Magic Ballad. Angel Song just adds regen to them. And the Magic Ballad supposedly raises their magic power. At this point, get the loot at all times. You really must be desperate to blind me, you mind you. But you can't do it. Well, here leveled up. you off. Well, you know, Vaughn levels up too.
Another chain level? Oh wow, at this point I can get the winged helm instead of with a 3% chance of obtaining it per slime. It's now 5%. It's pretty much now at its best it's going to get. Here's another Noma, but didn't I just steal from it not too long ago? Get Earth Crystal! <laughs> There's another one of those. Lucky you if you get a Noma Halkin. Jump forward. All the way over there, wow. Good, divide. That's always useful. HP recovery. Hey, a winged helm, what do you know? That's what I'm looking for. You might also be wondering, okay, so where's the license for this winged helm? But do not license it just yet. If I remember, it was... No, it's actually right in here somewhere. It's gotta be this one. But don't bother licensing it just yet, because that can wait. These are the benefits, in case you're wondering. Plus 5 on strength, and plus 3 on speed. This 5 on strength may seem like it's really good, and it is. But bows use speed to determine damage, so that's even extra bonus. That's why I told you to get it. Of course, since I have a big chain going on, ooh. And because he's targeting those frogs and I don't want them to, just have him cast Cure on the party leader. Now keep them separate in case you're wondering. And these things will also add slow status effect when they attack. It's not always, but it does happen. 33 chain. But since you're already here and claiming some quick license points and stuff, might as well. Lucky you if you got more than one winged helm. That's just extra gill. But now, feel free to get these annoying frogs. They're hard to hit though with physical attacks. But they also hurt themselves. Done, just simply leave the cave, bring in Fran, equip Fran with the flame staff, or rod, however, whatever you have, have available. Ugh. So where do you go now? Grab an answer. Yes, you're going to be losing both here and Fran.
Seems like I got a blue sky, just by the sounds of it. See, I can predict that pretty well, just simply by the sound effects. And don't worry about the guest. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I forgot. Switch back to active mode if you've been using it. And you don't have to bother healing either. As a warning, before going into Rab and Aster, fully unequip Balthier and Fran. You will not be seeing them again until you're level 99. And get ready for a start X. Start X. They leave. If you want, save at the save crystal, and I do recommend doing so because you just spent all that time and effort getting the winged helm.